1995 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 69 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, strong die doubling appears on liberty and in God. It is less apparent, though still noticeable, on the date and we trust. This popular guide book and cherry picker's guide variety is unknown above the MS69 red grade level, not surprising considering the grade is about as close to technically perfect as one could expect of a circulation strike. Fully struck copper orange surfaces are essentially pristine. Moderate flow lines appear in the fields. It was sold for $2,160. Number 9. 1943 S. Steel Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS and further confirmed by CAC. The 1943 S. Lincoln Steel Cent is collectible even as fine as MS 68, although pieces in this grade are scarce with CAC endorsement and under high demand from registry collectors. The present coin is among the finest examples of this issue known. It was sold for $3,120. Number 8. 1942 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 Red by NGC. The strike on this high-end superb gem is remarkably sharp, and the luminous satin luster displays uniform copper-orange color with no spots or abrasions observed. This penny with exceptional strike quality and preservation level ended up selling for $3,360 on January 10, 2024. Number 7. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS64 Red and Brown by PCGS. The 1914 D. Lincoln Cent is one of the key dates in the series behind the 1909 SVDB. This choice red and brown example is in a good grade for a wide range of collectors to acquire a quality piece. However, it is scarce with its CAC approval. It ended up selling for $4,680. Number 8. 1930 S. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over S. The remnants of an undertype S are visible to the north of the primary mint mark, identifying the popular cherry pickers variety. This spectacular superb gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout, and the virtually flawless original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster, with outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $5,760. Number 5. 1943 Lincoln Cent with Overdate 3 over 2 and Double Die Obverse. Graded as MS68 by PCGS. Remnants of a 2 are discernible around the 3 in the date on this variety, and the 19 in the date are doubled. The current example is the sole finest piece attributed by PCGS. It was sold for $5,760. Number 6. 1910 1910 proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 Brown by PCGS. A pristine, luminous superb gem yielding vivid pine green, blue, violet, and golden hues beneath a brown overlay. The rims are broad and squared, complementing sharp devices. No distracting imperfections are seen. It was sold for $9,000. Number 7. 1914 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 Brown by PCGS. A sharp and exceptionally well-preserved superb gem example of this matte proof issue, occupying a conditionally rare grade where fewer than a dozen coins are reported at PCGS and NGC combined. Vivid sea green, blue, and violet toning covers each side. Number 2. 1955 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 64 Red by PCGS. Full red examples of this double die variety are elusive compared to brown or red and brown coins, and they are notably rare numerically finer than MS64. This choice red coin is upper end for the issue. Each side is sharply struck and displays the expected satiny mint luster. Natural orange red luster has amber tendencies, with no mentionable spots apparent. It was sold on January 10, 2024 for $10,800. Number 1. 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded as MS62 Brown by PCGS. Die pair 2, showing a strong second 2 in the date. This is the so-called strong reverse die pair, 
which is unique among the three Node D varieties for having a fresh reverse dye that imparted sharp details. Dye pairs 1 and 3 show a mushy reverse. The present coin displays medium olive brown patina and is well defined for the issue, the obverse showing the diagnostic softness. It ended up selling for $13,800. That's wraps up today's episode. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to smash subscribe and notification buttons below to help us grow and reach more numismatic enthusiasts on YouTube. God's willing, see you in the next episode.